is the deal, folks. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tylan Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. And if it's your first time visiting the channel, let me say welcome. Let me also say thank you for checking out. But do me a favor. Don't subscribe to my channel yet. Get an idea who I am and what this channel is about and what my beliefs and all that stuff is before you jump on board. By doing that, it's going to help you in the long run. Trust me, it's going to help you if you're going to end up participating in the live chats. All kind of stuff. Trust me. Get an idea who I am. And how do you do that? Go on my channel, right? You can see where to say playlist. Click on playlist. This is going to bring up a bunch of different videos, right? Click on everything that has nothing to do with reaction videos. Don't look at me reacting to videos. Don't look at me reacting to try not to laugh videos. Don't look at me reacting to try not to cringe videos. Look at everything else that I do and things that I talk about so you can actually know who I am and what I'm about before you jump on board. And if you are of the faith, then do me a favor as well. You can subscribe to this channel right here. Oh, God, this is crazy right here. See that the little black box right there? You see that it might be a little dot that's going to pop up right there. And that's how you get over to my other channel. It's called MRM Ministries, where I do a lot of things reacting to Christian music. And I'm doing things where we talking about Christian related stuff, which is pretty much human related stuff. But you just get it from a perspective of a Christian, how Christians should react. Yada, 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 peanut butter. All right. This is going to be a little different, guys. It's going to be uh, <clears throat> my friends again, the Golden Girls. But I'm going to make this a little longer for y'all because uh, I know y'all said, man, I wish I can just lengthen them out so i'm gonna lengthen this out for y'all just for this one time just to see if i can sit that long okay i know i can sit that long because i sat there and chatted for y'all for five hours before so anyway i'm gonna roll right on into this guys this is golden girls funny moments again hopefully there's no repeats here we go or not give me a second to line it up okay so now here we go <laughs> I went to the police station today to get an update on my case. I borrowed your pocket hairspray. I took it from your dressing table. You know what this humidity does to my hair. I know cotton candy. <laughs> well, just as I entered the police station, I saw there was this cute officer there who's had his eye on me. So I took out your hairspray and gave my hair a final spritz. Only surprise, it wasn't hairspray. It was mace. <laughs> You had maced. Your hairspray was maced. I maced myself right there in the police station. <laughs> I almost died. I fell to the floor, blinded, writhing in pain. Couldn't move for 20 minutes. But what do you know? It works. Ah, <laughs> go, Rose. It works. They thought I was on angel dust. They wanted to arrest me. I'm lying there dying, and they're harassing me. Murderers are free, rapists are free, but a poor widow on the floor, they try to lock up. <laughs> Who'd I hurt? Me. She seems like she on something. Three pins, I can't believe it. Uh, I can't believe you can swing that ball past your hip. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if jewelry comes from Jewish people. In Little Falls, the jeweler was Jewish. Jeweler? Jewish? I wonder if there's a connection. <laughs> I think there's a connection between your brain and wallpaper paste. <laughs> Three and one is four, and ten is fourteen, and a double letter score Animal is baby. eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, Look and a rough. triple word Dorothy. score makes a total of sixty-nine points. I win. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There is no such word as that. There certainly is. Fine. I'll look it up. And if it isn't in the dictionary, I win. We don't have a dictionary. Yes, we do. Not anymore. The robbers took it. They stole our dictionary? That's right. Too bad. Cheater. Ma, disdam is not a word. You made it up. It's a word. Fine. Use it in a sentence. You're no good at this damn game. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Morning. <laughs> what in the world? I guess you ladies didn't recognize me without my toupee. <laughs> That's it. Uh, do you mind if I use a phone? You already used my door. He didn't ask for my permission. <laughs> There's a phone in the living room. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Okay, I know what it looks like. And frankly, 
That's exactly what it is. You had to bring him home. You couldn't find a drunken sailor on the street corner. <laughs> I was having a meeting with my vacation club. It seems there are a lot of children who like to take vacations without their mothers. Yeah, but then what are you, what are you all doing here? They never heard of a woman going to bed with her ex-husband. That's him, girls. I can't explain it either. Hi, Dorothy. Don't talk to me. Hi, Blanche. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Well, I don't understand. I don't understand why he sent you flowers at all. I mean, two days ago, you hated each other. And you know what else I don't understand? I don't understand how two people who go off to a business meeting end up in bed together. And you know what else I don't understand? I don't understand why you didn't tell him this morning exactly how you felt. Is that it, Rose? I mean, are you finished? Or is there something else that you don't understand? Right. Well, actually, there is. I don't understand how a thermos keeps things both hot and cold. Yeah, neither do I, but I'll tell you, if ever I sleep with Mr. Wizard, I'll find out what it is. That means losing your two best friends. Besides, we all bowled well this year. That's why I had all our names engraved on this trophy. In my opinion, we're all winners. Well, Aww. Rose, what a sweet thing to do. Aww. Oh, Rose, can I ask you a question? Sure. Why is your name three times larger than ours? <laughs> Because I'm the one who actually won it. Get one look at it, it'll be my bed room. <laughs> I was never once robbed or murdered when I was with Charles. <laughs> look, you could just as easily have been murdered living with Charles. I'm surprised she wasn't murdered by Charles. <laughs> with George, when I'd hear a noise, I'd wake him up, and then he'd take out his gun, and then... He'd have to find the bullets, because I'd always hide the bullets. And then, when he found the bullets, we'd make love. What? Boy, can you tell a story. Um, <laughs> it's for real. Oh, oh Dorothy, you scared me. What are you doing up so late? Honey, do you know what's behind that uh, wall? Your bedroom, problem. A lateral fusion oh. pipe. And you know what's on the other side of that lateral fusion pipe? No. My head! <laughs> hey, what are you two doing up? Waiting for you. We thought you might want to talk. All the food's already on the table, Dorothy. We didn't want to waste precious time. <laughs> you shot my boss. <laughs> I heard footsteps and a man's voice and the alarm went off. It was Lester. He accidentally said, I'll be long. I'm sorry. You shot my bones. I didn't shoot Lester. I'd rather you yeah. shot Lester. Dang. <laughs> I think I'll pass on the nightcap. Lady. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm old, you old fool. What shot my bones. Oh. oh, God, I hated that thing. Oh. What are you doing shooting? Are you crazy? I heard a noise. I thought it was the robbers. I managed to live 80, 81 years. I survived pneumonia, two operations, a stroke. One night I'll belch and stable Mabel now blow my head off. <laughs> Rose, you've got to <laughs> do something. Mabel. This is crippling you. Just save whatever pieces you find, Sophie. I can glue it back together. You bet. Whatever I find, I love that thing. Look at it. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, folks. Take a pause right here, all right? Pause. Just like that, we're back. I'm about to roll right on into the next one, all right? Here we go. Arthur, I've just discovered a great new way to meet more men. More men? You're going to need a turnstile in your bedroom. <laughs> I enrolled in a CPR class. For six consecutive hours, I was on my back while dozens of eligible men pressed their lips to mine and breathed air into my limp little body. <laughs> So what? You did the same thing at McSorley's Bar Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> no secrets from you. My whole life is an open book. Your whole life is an open blouse. <laughs> Gorgeous, Jim. Man! Well, 
I noticed him a few times, and today, as luck would have it, I found myself right behind him in the line in the cafeteria after I butted ahead of 25 students. <laughs> Hello? It's for Dorothy. I think it's Glenn. That's the fourth time he's called today. Well, you know what we're supposed to tell him. Go on. <laughs> Hello? Dorothy's not home, and she's never coming home again. Now, don't call here anymore. This is Rose. Who's this? Mr. Yamamoto from the school district. Whoa. I'm so sorry. I thought you were the man Dorothy's having an affair with. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the man Dorothy said he's always so fair with. Her. Uh, of course, I would expect you to be fair and, and polite and good at math. I'm so glad you got your own Disneyland. Oh, what? Ah, thank you. While we're down here, I'm going to go to astronaut camp. Astronaut camp? There's a camp for astronauts? Is it close by? Down, Blanche. I'm telling it's you. It's a special program for young people. Isn't that something? My granddaughter wants to be an astronaut? Not really, Grandma. I just want to meet boys who want to be astronauts. <laughs> just like Aunt Blanche. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I am not. Yes, you are. I can tell. When you're really angry, you purse your little lips so tight they almost disappear. <laughs> See? Have her lips come out yet? <laughs> A Walkman. Purple rain. <laughs> Sophia. Sophia, where's Blanche? I have to talk to her about her car. Purple rain. Eddie and Liz, Liz and Dick, Martin and Lewis, Rowan and Martin. Shut up. And dream I have where I'm running naked through a train that keeps going through tunnel after tunnel while a sweaty bodybuilder chases me. <laughs> he said he thinks it's sexual. No. He thinks, for God's sake, Blanche, you smoke a cigarette after that dream. <laughs> Not all my dreams are sexual. I also dream about food. Of course, I'm usually naked while I'm eating the food. <laughs> no, maybe all my dreams are sexual. Lucky me. <laughs> what do you give me for it? Oh, I couldn't buy your car. Oh, it's not my type. I want a car that says practical. Your car says available. <laughs> well, just take off my personalized plates. Oh, oh Blanche, again. Blanche, this is Dr. Jonathan Newman. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> but Dorothy, he's a little early. Yes, but I'm delighted to see him. Hi, Jonathan. Hello, Rose. You're looking lovely this evening. Oh, wait a minute. Rose Nyland, you devil, you. I just figured out what's going on here. Blanche. <laughs> You were sore at me for inviting your friend without asking you, so you had this guy to come over and teach me a lesson. <laughs> Rose doing her lip thing. God, yeah. I wish I was dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, you've been hit by the thunderbolt. Love at first sight. It happened to me once. Once, you've been hit by more lightning than the World Trade Center. <laughs> I was hit by the Thunderbolt once. Probably a direct hit to the forehead. <laughs> it was the first time I saw my Charlie. I was seven and he was eight. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Oh, boy. It was a hot Minnesota summer. And he had put up one of those little stands on the sidewalk. Sell a lemonade. Insurance. <laughs> and I bought a nickel policy on my red wagon. Right after that, my wagon was destroyed. How? Some hogs trampled it. <laughs> I was hauling home a, a smoked ham for Mama, and I think it set them off. <laughs> well, anyway, that's when I fell in love with Charlie. He paid for a new wagon, even though my policy didn't cover acts of swine. <laughs> Acts of swine. Shrimp. <laughs> she 
she's um, she's pretty uptight. I'm gonna have fun teasing her tonight. Why don't we just start then? Oh, good. What are we having? Short ribs. <laughs> And he's wearing the cutest little face yes. I think I've ever seen. <laughs> you just can't help yourself, oh, can yeah. you? I had a third cousin who ran around with a married man for 15 years. Are they still together? Well, they would be, but his wife shot him in the... <laughs> boxer shorts. <laughs> and after that, he just kind of lost, lost interest. <laughs> yeah. Dorothy... Listen, before Rose gets here, uh, can I ask you something? Sure. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. What is it? If you think it's none of my business, just say, Blanche, is none of your business. Oh, look, Blanche, you caught me one night sneaking out of the kitchen naked with an Oreo in my mouth. <laughs> we have no secrets. Now ask your damn question. Have you noticed that Rose has been acting peculiar? Yes, Blanche, from the first day I met her. Oh, hi. I didn't expect to see you girls up so late. I'm just having a snack. Dorothy's the one having an affair at a motel. And I think Jonathan's going to ask me to marry him. There it is again. I really, really enjoyed that, man. Hold on. Something in here happened that was crazy. What, with the, the dude with the short jokes, that was crazy. Somehow <laughs> she came out and said, shrimp. Oh, I love that. And then she's like, what'd you have for dinner? Short ribs. That is too funny. It's like, oh man, they would have been cool. I'd have been going a little bit more into it. Like, oh, they would have been if Dorothy and Blanche was in the kitchen talking. Like, I really like him. You know, he's he's really down to earth. And so anyway, oh man, guys, I really like this. This don't even seem like that much time went by because the laughs are just coming back to back. I really, really, really love. I've fallen in love with the Golden Girls, y'all. This is so crazy. Like, this seems like this is a modern sitcom. This don't seem like this is something way back in. I know this probably before I was born, but I don't know. But it don't seem like it's that old of a show because the jokes and everything is as apt the jokes, the uh, punchlines and everything, they so timeless. Now, some of the stuff they might say in here about a person or something like that that I might not know about, I totally get that because I'm kind of lost on who some of the stuff they make references to. But the basic stuff that they do in here is just awesome, man. I absolutely love it. So anyway, hope you guys laugh. Hope you guys are having a pleasant evening. And this is going to be it on this day. Um, Gosh. December the 21st. This is it for the videos for tonight, folks. All right. I will see you guys next time. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. I hope and pray that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus.